you're not defending it. Jesus, the purpose of this debate for you is to show that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints is true. Duh. I'm not a Mormon, so that's kind of. You're not a Mormon. Okay. Tell me something that Mormons believe that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints believes that is different than all the other Christian sects. I am more Christian than all these other ones because. Your job in this debate is to show things that Mormonism says or believes or holds to be true that are separate from all the other Christian beliefs. And I'm going to qualify Mormonism as a subset of Christianity because you did. And you're going to show me how, and you're showing the audience how that thing that Mormonism believes that's different from all the other Christian sects, that thing is true. And you're going to be able to do that without your personal experience because your personal experience means nothing. So show me something tangible. Some, show me something we can all look at. Okay. So my objective here is to show that the, that I, uh, the, the whole thing is I am more Christian than all these other ones because, yeah. Because I'm, they're I'm all more Christian than you because you use the same bullshit story that all of them do, that they are the true Christians and you are not because, you know, Catholics are not true Christians. Jehovah's Witnesses are not true I, Christians. I don't claim that they're not true Christians. And, and Mormons okay. are not true Christians. I, and now Mormons are saying that, that all these Christians. others are not true Christians. So you're, this is why your collective personal experiences mean nothing. You have to show the data. Show me something Mormonism believes that you can show to be true. If you're going to say that Mormonism is true, then how is, first, how is Mormonism distinguished from all these other religious groups? Show that first, and then show how we can show the truth of it without personally, without having to trust your personal experiences, because I already know better than that. Okay, so this is all about, that's what Jesus said was the foundation of his church. And, and so every other Christian church, not Mormonism. You're supposed to be defending church. Mormonism today. Okay, well, this is about the Church of Jesus Christ. That's what we are claiming to be. Okay, so you're going to defend Christ. Catholicism, Greek Orthodoxy, Russian Orthodoxy? I'm just defending the Church of Jesus Christ, which is what we claim to be, the Church of okay. Jesus Christ. And so there are many offshoots of that, and I acknowledge that. And I okay, don't, so, so the I'm ones not, that I don't came... claim that they're not Christian. Okay, they all all... Right, so is Orthodoxy and Catholicism, are these offshoots? Of Mormonism, it's the Church of Jesus Christ. Okay, the Mormon is not. Do you know what Mormonism is? It is. Uh, yes, I, I do know what Mormonism is. And if you look it up in the dictionary, it's members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints. Of Latter Day Saints, and that that's an important distinction. Mm -hmm. The Latter Day, because they didn't exist during the Great Schism that, that got us Orthodoxy on one side and Catholicism on the other, where no, prior to that, you had a were, bunch of different Those Christian were not cults. the latter days. So it's just a matter right, of time period. Right. At the dawn of Christianity, to the rock that, Christ, that, that Jesus was supposedly talking about, the church that he initially founded, was, was something that existed before the Great Schism, when you still had the Luciferians was a, still a Christian cult, for example, before you had the schism between Catholicism and Orthodoxy, before you had... The, the the Reformation, where you suddenly had Protestantism breaking away from Catholicism and all these other things, all these other Christian groups that mostly started around the 19th century or were in the 19th century, where your religion did too. You're not talking about, you're not defending Jesus. The purpose of this debate for you is to show that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is true. Because the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints says very different things than all the other Christian sects. And you, in this debate, are supposed to show that that's true. Do you know what Mormonism says that's different than other Christian sects? Yeah, I can say a lot of things, but... The Church of Jesus Christ can't be true if the Church of Jesus Christ isn't true. And so... Well, yeah, you could stop with of, just half that separate, sentence. You're trying to separate the two. Yeah, you, you can stop with half the sentence. The Church of Jesus Christ can't be true. We can stop with that. It, it's the but, same but thing. You it's want, just a matter of time period. The yeah, Church it, of Jesus it, Christ of Latter-day Saints just, can't be true if the former church wasn't, yeah. Yeah, the former church wasn't true. true either. And we can get there. But I want to take baby steps. Let's crush Mormonism first 
before we squash Christianity. And then we can move this on to theism in general. Christianity. You, yeah, you're trying to separate the two, but you can't. Uh, Christianity no. is a parent category. Would you it's, believe that you know, are, are, are sharks a, a subset of goldfish? No, both of them are a subset of fish. So fish is the parent category nice... that includes both sharks and goldfish, right? Okay. So you can, Mormonism. Parent category is a good term for it. Mormonism. So we have foundation. subset of Christianity sub and Christianity is a subset of theism. Let's start with the thing that you were here to defend. Mormonism is because mm -hmm. the, this debate topic was not, is Christianity true? This debate topic was, was Mormonism true? Well, so, I'm not a Mormon, so that's kind of, you're not a Mormon. Okay. I, I'm a, I'm a member Why of the you church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Are, okay. You're not a more. Oh, you're the church. We don't Jesus use Christ the term letter. Mormon. Is there another word? The for, wait, I was baptized in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints. You know what they're called? Mormons. By you who? know what their holy book is called? By who? The Book of Mormon. You uh -huh. know, you know who you know who calls them Mormons? My entire family who are Mormon. That's who calls them Mormons. They call themselves yeah. Mormon. We specifically. My, my mother. Said we are my not. My mother works in the temple. Uh -huh. She knows what the fuck a Mormon is. That yeah, we we specifically come out and say we are not Mormons. That's no yeah, you. Guess, that's and this is a new the... trend, but it didn't know it wasn't always that way. I grew up with this church. They didn't have a problem calling themselves Mormons until like less than ten years ago, mm -hmm. and then that didn't last long. Somebody wanted to create a controversy over it, and then people got over it, and you guys are Mormons again. Big damn deal. The point what? is what? that is totally BS. The point I'm sorry. is, you were supposed to defend the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints, the people who call themselves Mormon, the people everybody else calls Mormon, the people with the Holy Book called the Book of Mormon. You're supposed to defend that separate from all other Christian sects, and then when we're done with that, then if you like, then we can look to Christianity and then theism and then supernaturalism in general. See, I don't distinguish the, a difference between the two. They are one and the same. Okay, so, you, so you're you, you're, you're you trying really hard to tear, from ducks. You're trying really hard to tear them apart, but they are one and the same, and that is my entire okay, opening so you, statement. So you don't think that there's is that they any are one and the same between a, a mallard and a muscovy or a wood duck? They're all exactly the same thing. They're all well, mallards. They're all they're all ducks, but they're all part ducks. Of, so there's. So is there a difference between a mallard and a muscovy or a wood duck or any of the or a peking duck or any of these others? A Christian is just someone who believes in Jesus. Okay. And... Were you aware that the header for the debate that we were invited to did, did did they were they forthcoming with you? Did they tell you what the debate topic was when yes. they invited you to do this? Yes. Did they throw the word Mormonism in there? Uh yes. Ah, so now you're pretending you don't know what Mormonism is, but you agreed to do a debate where you defend Mormonism. Well, I've told them defend, repeatedly that I am a member of the Church of Jesus Christ. you defend a belief system when you don't even know what the belief system is? I am very much aware of what, the, what my belief system is. And, so it is your yeah. belief system, and you are, in fact, a Mormon. Very good. I'm glad we got through the bullshit arcade, and we got to this point, where we should have been five minutes ago. So, back to square one. Show me something that Mormons, that, that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints says, the Mormons says, that is different than Catholicism, different than the Jehovah's Witnesses, different from the Seventh-day Adventists, different from Orthodoxy, and so on. What is it that Mormonism believes that's different from all these others, and then show how that is true? Well, I, if you listen to my opening statement, it's all about the foundation. And so yeah, I realized me... that you didn't have a foundation. And the sad thing is, is you didn't realize that you didn't have one. The Upon this rock, I will build my church. Right, that is a foundation so of you don't modern day revelation. Oh, I do know what I'm talking no, about. No, you don't. You don't okay, know what well, the, we don't know what the rock is. You don't know what the foundation is. Now you're pretending you don't know what Mormonism is or alternately pretending you don't know what Mormonism. When it's convenient for you, then you remember what Mormonism is, but you still can't defend it, can you? So. Tell me something that Mormons believe that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints believes that is different than all the other Christian sects. Show me that first. And then 
Show me how we know that that is true. If you can't do both of those things, just concede defeat now, and we can change the topic if you like. We can debate about something else. Well, this is all about establishing that this is the same church as it was back then. Except that it isn't, is it? It is. It's got the same foundation. Where, where is Nephi and Lehi and the submarines and all of that? That's where is that not, mentioned? It doesn't need to be mentioned over there. Okay. There's, well, if, it, yeah. if you're talking about a different... this, if you're talking about a religion that is based on these documents that are not mentioned anywhere, then you can't say that it's the same church. Now, can you? Okay, so I can have my own personal experiences, and I can Which write about those irrelevant. personal experiences. That personal experiences is the foundation I just mentioned. Okay, okay. you don't you don't have a foundation then. I have lots of personal experiences. I don't yeah, know what you're but talking no about. Foundation. The personal experiences is the foundation. Then you don't have a foundation, and what you're supposed to be doing is you're supposed to be defending. Is Mormonism true? Not is Christianity true? Is Mormonism true? So there's a specific subset mm -hmm. that you're going to focus on that. You're not going to argue whether Christianity is true. So it doesn't matter what you think the rock is. You're wrong, but it doesn't matter what you think it is. You're arguing for Mormonism. Now, you and I can both list things that Mormons believe that are different than what all Christians believe and okay. that Jesus never mentioned. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints can't be true unless Christianity itself is true. That is, yeah, right. it is but Christianity. Christianity here's, here's an important thing. Christianity, it, for the purpose of this logical discussion, it is logically possible that Christianity could be true and Mormonism still be false. Do you understand what that means? Well, it's, so long as it's the same doctrine, then is it? that doesn't work. So the, the, the Jehovah's Witnesses, are they the true religion? Well, I don't see them building on the same kind of foundation. Aren't they? The, the, don't they declare the same rock you do? Well, they believe in Jesus, but okay, I don't so see that's, them talking. That's, that's, that's a, so what you're saying is the Jehovah's Witnesses are the true faith. I did not and see you would that. Be, are you equally adept at defending jehovah if they had called you and to, to, to debate me on is jehovah's witness the true christian church would you be able to do that today okay it's not that it's totally different that's a yes or no question if if i am if i yeah i wouldn't debate you on that why because i don't believe that the, yeah that it's okay, got, so you do it's got, accept. Part, it's got many truths to it. Okay, it, so you accept many truths to it, but it's not a hundred percent true. And you so accept they have then elements of it that okay? logically Christianity could be true, but that does not mean that Orthodoxy is the true Christian church, or that Catholicism is the true Christian church, or that you know, Southern Baptists or the Seventh Day Adventists or any of the others. It doesn't mean that any of the subsets are necessarily the true Christian church. Okay, At best. So at best, where they differ from each other would be what would you call that? Where where would the things that Jehovah's Witnesses believe that no other Christians believe, those would be false then, right? Okay. So here's my 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 that big thing. Remember how too. in my opening statement, in my opening statement, please let me talk. All right, in my opening statement, I, I mentioned the parable of the ten virgins, right? There are the there were those who had the oil who had their own personal experiences that was able to sustain them. And then there, there are those who lived on borrowed light, okay, who lacked the personal experiences to sustain them. They didn't have that foundation, okay? It was the uh, foundation of sand. You're just kind of going off of secondhand accounts. And so those who had that personal experiences, they are the ones that said did, uh, Jesus welcomed in. And those who did not, I know you not kind of an experience. And so that's uh -huh. the the real question right there is which one is founded on those kind of personal experiences. But and, the, none of them yeah. are founded on personal experiences. They're all founded on doctrine, which is not personal experiences. These are well, I've are I've studied down. a long time with the Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah. And uh they're not ones who are continually urging me. To, to pray and ask and find out for myself that uh, that it's not how their church works. 
But that's like the very first thing we teach people to do is pray and ask and find out for yourself and make and keep commitments. Uh, as Jesus said, whosoever doeth uh, what I say, they shall know of my doctrine. Okay, okay so they you... shall they shall be the ones who gain their personal experiences. Uh, yeah, so it's all about making and keeping commitments and and actually doing things. And then it's by doing things that we're able to to learn for ourselves. And yeah. So you're you're telling me then that that uh, Mormonism is no different than uh, Roman Catholicism or Russian Orthodoxy. No, that's not that's not what I said at all. Mar but yeah, I, you did. You said you said they're all Christian. All you have to do to be Christian is to be is to believe. Do you believe in Jesus? And you will not, will not show what Mormonism believes as distinguished from all these other Christian sects. You just okay. said, well, Christianity has to be true if Mormonism is true. And, and that would be correct. Yeah, if, if Mormonism was true, it's not. But if Mormonism was true, that would depend on Christianity being true. But Christianity can be true, and Russian Orthodoxy and Jehovah's Witnesses and Catholicism and Southern Baptists all be wrong. They could all be wrong. All right. So I'll point you right back to the, the parable of the ten virgins here. There were five that are wise and five that are foolish. Okay, they were all Christians. Okay, all of all ten of them were Christians. They were people who were waiting for Jesus to come, right? And so that can describe the many different sects out there. They're all waiting for Jesus to come. They all believe in Jesus. Uh, but then in the end, Jesus acknowledges uh the ones who have had personal experiences with him. And yeah, I know of you're not. These people is a really that strong word. Huh? And there's Hindus. There's Hindus who believe that they've had personal experience of Jesus, that Krishna reappeared in the form of Jesus, and that Jesus and Krishna are, in fact, the same person. Mm -hmm. Does that make Bhakti Hinduism true? Well, did they really have personal experiences? Or do you? Are, well, or... they really have personal experiences with Lord Krishna. And they say that Christians are deceived by believing in Jesus when the true form is actually Krishna. Uh, that sounds kind of like Krishna's the deceiver here, pretending to be someone. I wonder why Krishna would be the deceiver. If we have a bunch of deceivers here, how do we weed them out? Let's see. We've, we've got we've got the the parent body of Christianity, and then we have all these different sects, all the subsets, and you have chosen to defend one of them. You can't defend Catholicism. You won't defend Catholicism, will you? Well, I am defending Catholicism by defending tell, Jesus. Can you debate? If they had told you to debate me against, is Catholicism true? Would you be able to do that? I could tell you that that parts of Catholicism are are true, and are you going to tell me Jesus. that parts of okay. Mormonism are true? Well, it, I'm focusing on. Uh, it's very different here. I can talk Why? to. Like, um. Because I, it's all, okay, if I were to take one bite of a pizza or eat a whole pizza, and so I can talk about, uh, yeah, and that's kind of it. Is, is Am I talking about the entire pizza, or am I just talking about just a portion of it? And so I can... Well, let, let me help you I'm out talking about the, the whole You're pizza talking here. about a portion of it. You're not talking about the entire pizza. You're not. You're talking about a portion of it. The portion called Mormonism. Now... What is Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints? What is it that's different about the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints that is different from all the other sects? What What is it they believe that no other Christian sect believes? Give me an idea. Okay, well, I believe that we are, we've got the entire foundation here. We've got the whole pizza and not just parts of it. Okay, Everyone but, else but, but does that... Kind of so, so is there somewhere in the in the Book of Mormon, I already know better than this, but is there somewhere in the Book of Mormon that says that every Christian sect is equally 100% true? Uh, does it say, well, okay, Christianity is believing in Jesus, okay? And so Jesus is 100% true. And so if anyone believes in Jesus, they are 100% right. Well, I'm okay? sorry that Jesus is not 100% true, but we will get there. Jesus is not truth at all. But we can get there. We have to start baby steps now. You came on to discuss Mormonism, which is which, which is which the is Church not, of Jesus Christ not in the latter days, with, which is not Seventh Day Adventism, which is not Russian Orthodoxy. It's not mm -hmm. Greek Orthodoxy. 
It's not Roman Catholicism. It's not it's not Lutherans. 